I think it's safe to say that Kanye West has officially burned his career to the ground. Not that there was much room for growth left. Last week, I said that he passed the Rubicon. Now, this is it. <laughs> He's so far gone, there's no coming back from this. And rightfully so. I, I get that people don't like cancel culture, but if ever there was a case for somebody to be canceled, I think that Kanye West meets that criteria. And I'm not afraid to say that. Yes, Kanye West should be canceled because what he said in an appearance on Alex Jones's program, InfoWars, was so bad that Alex Jones had to distance himself from Kanye West. Alex Jones was seemingly uncomfortable with what Kanye West was saying. So he says essentially that um, he likes Hitler. He just straight up says it. He says that he loves Nazis, but he also loves Jewish people. And he talks about how, you know, every human being has something of value, especially Hitler. He says that Nazis did good things too, so we're going to stop dissing Nazis. He also ridiculously credits Hitler for inventing highways and the microphone. I mean, this is genuinely deranged shit. And I'm sorry, him very obviously being mentally ill is not an excuse. This is not a get out of jail free card. There are people who suffer from mental illness who don't say things like this. So there's no excuse. There's no coming back from this. Kanye West absolutely should be shunned from society. And there's no longer any plausible deniability. And even people who were defending Kanye up until this point are saying, you probably shouldn't have said the Hitler stuff. Because in their view, even if they may still agree with Kanye West, they don't like that he's just straight up praising Hitler because this takes away their plausible deniability, which is how they push anti-Semitism in the first place. You kind of do these dog whistles, as loud as they may be. You never actually say the quiet part loud. You just try to normalize anti-Semitism in a roundabout way, not by actually praising Hitler. So now you kind of see them vocalizing disappointment with Kanye West saying, man, I was with you until you said this Hitler stuff. That's them kind of giving away the game. And this is Kanye West taking away their plausible deniability. That's it. So now any radio host going forward who gives this man a platform, they're responsible for this too. Anyone who is a fan, a former fan of Kanye West, who sees him in the streets, don't, don't get a picture with him. I get that growing up, you may have enjoyed his music at one time. I did too. But he's admitting now he's a Nazi. There are better role models for you to look up to than an actual Nazi, an out and proud Nazi at this point. I don't think people understand how recent the Holocaust was. There are people alive today who survived the Holocaust. And to praise Nazis, I think that that's so beyond the pale that anywhere Kanye West goes, people should shame him. People should shun him. People should not want to be associated with him. Take a look at this photograph. This is a photograph uh, from Auschwitz. This is the inside of a gas chamber. Now, if you look closely at it, you see scratch marks. These scratch marks were from Jewish people who were clawing at the walls as they gasped for air, as they were killed. Jewish people who were so weak in these death camps, some of them couldn't walk and they had to be carried to the gas chambers. This is not a laughing matter to normalize Nazis and to say that they're not evil it is so morally reprehensible that I don't care about whatever excuse Kanye West has. Um, I don't care that, you know, he has untreated mental illness. There's no coming back from that. There are some things that are just so egregious that as a society, we have to loudly denounce them. Otherwise, we're also culpable here. And this is one of those moments. So um, it's so bad that the GOP had to delete this tweet where they say Kanye, Elon, Trump. And you have Nick Fuentes controlling Kanye West's Twitter account. And this is what Elon Musk is enabling. You brought him back and now he's admitting he's a Nazi. So are you going to allow him on this platform to continue to spew vile, violent anti-Semitism? It's up to Elon Musk. But um, don't be surprised when advertisers don't want to come back to this platform. So there's there's so much to talk about with regard to this story because it's so disturbing. And even if this was the trajectory, the inevitable trajectory that Kanye West was on, it's still genuinely jarring 
to see someone in the year 2022 say this. It, it's shocking to see. Um, and the whole get up with him covering his face, it's just, it's disturbing. It's really weird. It's disturbing. It's creepy. Watching that just made me feel sick to my stomach. Um, because to know the impact that he has on society, on culture still, and to know how many more Nazis are going to be emboldened because of these statements. I mean, look, he already emboldened them, right? But now they can be even louder because once you hear somebody say something like that, praise Hitler publicly, I mean, it kind of takes away that shock value. So the next person who hears a Nazi say that, then it's like, oh, I already heard Kanye say it, so that's probably more shocking than this random Joe Schmo saying it. That's why this is so dangerous, because we can't allow this thing to be normalized. And little by little, with each platform that was given to Kanye West, where these hosts knew he was going to spew anti-Semitism, they just continue to normalize it. And it's just, it's sickening. I, I just feel really sad. I feel disturbed. But this is where we're at. Um, you know, anti-Semitism has been on the rise around the world. And this thing was, I think, an, an inevitability. You know, where you see somebody rise up and just say that they like Hitler. But for it to be Kanye West, somebody with so much cultural influence, that's where things get really dangerous. So, um, I don't really know what else to say. Kanye West is done. His career is over at this point, And that's good. Shame on anyone who still wants to associate with him. Shame on anyone who wants to give him a platform. He needs to be shunned from society because as a people, we need to make it very clear that Nazism is not tolerated. If we can't do that, then I think that we failed as a country.